most dangerous part of this whole hike. You gotta get across the highway. So now we are on the old historic Columbia River Highway. Overgrown, lots of ivy, and uh, I rushed it a little, but we're actually going to go see a couple waterfalls that are or an old tourist stop along the historic highway. Jack Falls and Little Jack Falls. Jonathan's getting a shot of the bald eagle. And it looks like here we have a juvenile. And we're coming up to Jack Falls. So now we're continuing to make our way down the old Columbia River Highway. It was about 500, 600 yards to get from the entrance to Jack Falls and another five or 600 yards to get from Jack Falls to Little Jack Falls. Ankle breakers. Matt is pointing out there's a lot of cracks in this thing. It's actually a lot of obstacles. You gotta watch out for landslides that have covered up the highway in places. You've got to watch out for fallen trees that have fallen across the old highway. And you've got to watch out for these cracks in the asphalt all over the place. That, uh, yeah, would be a good way to twist an ankle. But, for a hike right next to the highway, it's actually rather pretty. So Matt is navigating the worst landslide of the bunch, where most of the highway is gone outside of a narrow path. Please be careful here. We don't want anybody falling off. Coming around to Little Jack Falls. Which, as you will see shortly, has washed out the old historic highway. Back in the day when the highway was here, this was a viewpoint. And people would stand on the viewpoint and take pictures looking out over the whole Columbia River Basin. Well, here's the alternate entrance to the historic Columbia River Highway and the Little Jack Falls and Jack Falls. Um, not quite as exciting as crossing the uh, highway. won't make it to actual Jack Falls due to that washout, but you can make it around the corner here to Little Jack Falls. On this side we actually have a little bit of the old railing that was on the side of the highway. Built over a hundred years ago and hasn't been used in 
about 80 years, I think. Historic. We've got a nice overlook down onto Prescott Beach below us. Some of the drone trees you don't see too often. This uh, historic highway up here on this side is a little more intact than down below. Some more of the uh, historic highway guardrail. Nice view of the Columbia River, Washington, over yonder. Pretty good condition for being a hundred years old. And here's little Jack Falls from the other side. That's where we were earlier. Much shorter hike coming from this side. But uh, the roadbed's in a lot better condition 